Peace Queens, welcome back to my channel. Look, I got my first wig from Amazon from Jessica Hair. It's a curly Brazilian lace front wig and I'm so excited to show you how I prepped and styled my wig. But to start off, I did my first ball cap, right? Not bad, got a stocking cap. Uh, I put the got to be glue on, uh, got it hard, blow dried it. Put a little bit of gel so it can be a little more seamless around the edge and held that down. Then I finished cutting the lace from around. I left the sides out and yeah, basically just cut around and then tie it up with my satin AliExpress tie. So it can lay. So when I put my wig on. I'll be good to go. So stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. This is my wig that I purchased from Amazon. Amazon is really stepping up their game with different wig companies. I purchased this one from Jessica Hare. In the packaging, not only came my wig, but these beautiful lashes from Huda. Huda, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Huda, Huda Beauty. Nice, long, luxurious lashes. Now I have my wig. It's a lace front, curly, Brazilian, virgin wig. The hair is very soft, very beautiful. 14 inches. I apologize. I put it on the head before I got a chance to let you see the construction of the cap. Um, it's considered pre-plucked, but I still have a little bit more to work with that. You see the inside construction of the cap. There's a comb in the back. There are the adjustable straps on both sides. They put a comb in the center. And there are two combs in the side. They're pinned onto my wig cap, my wig head. Uh, you can't see, but there are two combs on each side. The lace is in the front, pretty light, but you can conceal that with some pow powder. They bleach the knots, and it's considered pre-plucked. Not too bad, the uh, edges, but I definitely want to go in and pluck some more hairs for my liking. But they do have it labeled as pre-plucked. And it's a 13 by 6, so you have a good amount of parting space down the center. And I'm going to go in in the center and pluck a little bit more of the part as well. And at the end, I can always make it more natural with some uh, pressed powder down the middle or a little concealer. So that's how the parting space looks and the hairline. Now I went in and pre-plucked more of the hairline. You see how it looks a little bit more natural? That's what I did around the entire edges of my hair. So that's what I did and this is how much hair I plucked out. See? Took that from the part and took that from the edges. Okay, so we are going to start washing the hair. Definitely do a cold wash right here. I lathered up the hair, brushed it, no detangling whatsoever. The hair is very soft. Want to get those curls popping. This is virgin hair, so you definitely want to wash it. So I did a cold wash. The density on this hair is a 150%. So I'm washing it thoroughly, rinsing out all of the soap. And then I'm going to get some Aveeno conditioner. I just used Aveeno shampoo. Now I'm going to put a little Aveeno conditioner and work that through the hair brush it through take some of the hair out of this brush because i did pluck the edges uh more like i mentioned to my liking so i expected a little hair to come out in the wash but you see how those 
curls are starting to pop and come through more since I washed it and conditioned it. The hairline looks beautiful. Now we are going to style. At this time, I am using Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco. Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. I love this mousse. I just want to make sure that the edges are clipped. And so that's what I'm going to do. Clip the edges. And then get my make my little baby hairs. Put some of the mousse and begin to style. I want to make sure that I pin it down and get it the way I want my curls to go. So making my little baby hairs. Doing my part down the middle. I'm going to wear this wig as a center part. Get my mousse there and style my baby hairs. If you don't want to wear baby hairs, you don't have to. Um, that's totally up to your preference. Uh, do it your edges exactly how you would like because I did pluck my edges to you know my specific likeness so you do yours in a way that you like you can do it with baby hairs or you can leave your baby hairs out I did mine with baby hairs I love this argon mousse because it gives it a hold and a beautiful shine well ladies this is my final product I put some pressed powder from my Maybelline Fit Me down the center of my part. You see earlier I had already made, you know, some little edges and the mousse that I gave you er that I showed you earlier from Cream of Nature Nature the Argon mousse is absolutely amazing uh, for the hair. It's a shiny uh, style and shine foaming mousse. Absolutely love that. I got it from Amazon. So that is beautiful for the curls. This hair is so soft, absolutely soft, beautiful. I love it. I'm sure you'll love it. Definitely get this Brazilian lace front wig from Jessica Hair. You will absolutely love it. I think I paid, it's about 14 inches. And I think I paid between $100, $129 wasn't a lot uh virgin human hair i washed it conditioned it and styled it with the mousse did my baby hairs you know got that little curled up like i said i had did some plucking of the hairline because i wanted it to be a little bit more to my liking put some powder uh or foundation down the center of the part uh to enhance that a little bit more so definitely I love it. Absolutely fabulous. I'm sure you'll like it too. It's so soft, so silky. So I hope you love this video with my Jessica hair. Definitely I love my hair curly. Um, it's very versatile. You can put it in a ponytail um, and secure it. I didn't even put any glue. You know, I did the wig cap earlier with the got to be glue spray. I used this when I did my wig cap earlier. If you want to put a little of this down to uh, secure it a little bit more, um, if you're not using a ball cap, if you didn't do that method and you're braiding your hair, you can definitely secure the combs that's in the wig underneath your braids to make it snug or put some pins in it to hold it a little bit. But I have absolutely nothing, no got to be glue spray. I just put it in my hair. I can always put some bobby pins later. But as you see, it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this. Definitely uh, click like and subscribe. And I hope I see you next time. Until next time, ladies, peace and stay authentically you beautiful.